Manage your business's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google My Business, and Google Plus profiles all from one place. Welcome to your social dashboard. This unique social media marketing solution allows you to effortlessly compose and schedule engaging posts to multiple social profiles simultaneously. Monitor all recent and scheduled posts on your social profiles and provide excellent customer service by responding to all of your customers' posts from one single location. Find new customers as real-time leads from Twitter. Use our RSS feed library to easily discover interesting and relevant content to publish. And track analytics and growth of your business's social audience over time. When you log in for the first time, you'll be greeted with a welcome message to connect your accounts. This only takes a minute and should be done before you do anything else. You'll need to authenticate your social accounts to allow access to your pages and to post on your behalf. Note that you can only connect business profiles for your Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, and Google Plus pages. This isn't the case for LinkedIn, however. Once authenticated, you can choose to post to either your personal or company LinkedIn pages. Twitter doesn't have these same permissions, so simply sign into your business's Twitter account. And just like that, you're all set up. To compose a post for your business's social profiles, click the red Compose button. Select which profiles you want to post to. Write your post in the Compose box here. To insert an image to your post, click here. If you are posting to Instagram, you'll need to make sure you do this. This image will be posted natively on all of your social profiles, meaning it will appear as if you posted it directly to the social site. If you have a link to an article you want to share, you can shorten long URLs here. If you've created coupons using my listing, click here to insert them into your post. If you're having difficulty figuring out exactly what to post, you can find interesting articles to republish here. On the right, you can preview your posts on each platform. If you've entered a URL in the Compose box, a preview of that link will appear. If you want to post directly to Google Search and Maps, you can do this via your Google My Business account. These are called Google Posts. They are a great way to push out timely and relevant content to people looking for your services in Google Search. To make a Google Post, make sure you have your Google My Business account selected. Then open up the drop-down titled Only for Google My Business. Google Posts can be made into an event and can have a special call to action. Just a note that Google Posts expire after seven days or on the end date of your event. If you're not ready to publish your post yet, you can save it as a draft or schedule it to be published in the future. This is a huge time saver as you can sit down and compose as many posts as you want all at once. You can review recent and upcoming posts in the My Posts tab. In the Recent Posts sub tab, you can view recently published items, including those posted directly from the social media site. Click on the Delete button to remove it from that social network. Check out your scheduled posts here. If you change your mind or notice any errors with these posts, you can delete or edit them before they are published. The Calendar tab gives you a convenient view of all your posts. Consumers regularly use social media to communicate with businesses. The Customer Posts tab shows activity on your social accounts and allows you to respond and interact easily from one place. Start by filtering your connected social media accounts on the right to see what people are saying on those particular networks. You can also filter the customer posts by action. For example, you can choose to see posts that were already responded to or posts which were dismissed. When responding to a customer, you have the ability to insert a manage response. Often, your customers might be asking you the same questions repeatedly on social media. With a manage response, you can quickly reply without having to type something completely from scratch. Every day, people declare their buying intentions on social media. The Leads tab allows you to monitor Twitter posts to discover who's interested in the products or services your business provides. Simply enter a phrase that potential customers would say to express their interest in a product or service. For example, if you are a restaurant, you may search for tweets that say Hungary plus I am to find people in your area who might want to stop by for a bite. To create a new lead search, go to the Settings tab then to the Lead Search sub-tab. 
Then click Add. Now you'll need to fill in the lead search form. Enter keywords. Enter must include and must not include keywords. Select whether to search for results in English, French, or Spanish. These searches are restricted to a maximum radius of 25 miles around a given address or city. Depending on the type of business you have, you may want to limit this radius. Preview the search to see if it returns great results. If not, refine the search and try again. Always keep in mind that these results are based on what is being tweeted in the area. So if the search is too specific, you might not see many results. When you are all set up, click Save. Enter up to five lead searches, then head back to the Leads tab to view the results. Or you can click on View here. This might take a few minutes to populate. Filter through the leads to find a tweet to respond to and then enter a response. You can filter the searches if you only want to respond to certain leads. This filter comes in handy when you've set up searches for different products or services. You can also filter by status to see leads you've replied to or dismissed. To build a great social media following, your business should publish more than just self-promoting posts. The key is to post frequently with content that your followers are interested in. The Content tab helps you discover interesting and relevant content to republish on your social media accounts. You can also search RSS feeds or Twitter for specific content. To set up more searches for relevant content, go to the Settings tab, then to the Interesting Content sub-tab. This is the page you will use to set up content to show in your Content tab. From here, you can search popular RSS feeds. Click the search button to add feeds from content sources that your clients might find interesting. You can also sort by business category at the top. Once you've made your selection, click Close. If a feed does not appear in your list, you can add your own by simply selecting Add. Once you paste the feed's URL, the RSS name will automatically populate when you click away from the field. The RSS category name will become a filter in the Content tab. This page is also where you can manage your Twitter content searches. This form is similar to setting up lead searches, except that you're searching for content to republish and retweet instead of leads. Again, you can enter up to five searches. Now, let's head back to the Content tab. You can filter the RSS content categories and Twitter content searches to see specific results. Simply click Share and you can edit this content in the Compose tab. Let's quickly head over to the Analytics tab. Here is where you can track your social audience over time. Use this tab to get a bird's eye view of the progress you've been making with your social media efforts. We recommend checking back here weekly or at least once a month. Try to make it a habit. And that completes our tour of your social dashboard. We hope you enjoy engaging your customers and saving time using these great tools.